Brakti Hawa Brakatha, Yahaw Shah, Brakti Hawa Brakatha, Yahaw Shah Bashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Spiritual Resumes. Lord will you are edified by source, antimon, and resume breaks down into to sum up. Again, a resume breaks down into the origin to sum up what your experience your wisdom okay which brings me to first timothy 5 and 17 let the elders that rule will be counted worthy of double honor so the elders that rule will should be counted worthy of double honor all right and this is scriptural when we focus on elders according to the greek strong's g 4245 presbuteros presbuteros which means advanced in life an elder a senior and according to new oxford american dictionary for senior it means of or for older or more experienced people. All right. You can't have wisdom without having experience. Okay. You can't have wisdom without having experience. Wisdom comes from application as well. And to prove that point. Same source, Etimon, for wisdom, knowledge, learning, experience. Again, wisdom, knowledge, learning, experience. Okay, so wisdom, okay, goes into knowledge, meaning to know, learning, and experience. Point blank period. So, according to... Senior of or for older or more experienced people. Now, going into the title for this lesson, spiritual resumes. All right. And resume means what? To sum up. To, to, to sum up what? One's experience. All right. One's wisdom. So even in the world. If I am applying for a job and a person has 10 to 15 to 20 more years experience than me, that person that has the most experience will likely get that job. All right? Even if you're fresh out of college. All right? More than likely, right, you're not going to get that job. Compare it to a person that has five to six to seven to eight years more experience than you. I've seen it over and over and over. So question, why is it when it comes to the truth, one's experience doesn't matter? It doesn't make sense. I repeat, why is it when it comes to this truth, a person's experience doesn't matter? All right. If a person has been in the truth two years and you have a brother that has been in the truth seven years or four years, that person that's been in the truth longer has the most wisdom. Point blank period. Now, of course, there are some exceptions to the rule, but in most cases, all right, a man that has been in the truth 10 years does not have more experience than a man that has been in the truth 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 years. Okay? And even Esau's world show you that. Apply for a job and go against a person that has more experience and see who will get that job. And 
for the person that has the less experience that gets that job over a person that has the most experience in most cases is because why? That person will get paid the less, okay? That person will get paid the less. All right, let's continue. Also, to be among the Mashiachim, those who presided over the assemblies or churches, the New Testament uses the term bishop, elders, and presbyters interchangeably. All right, so your experience matter, okay? And 1 Timothy 5 and 17 states that the elders that rule will be counted worthy of double honor. Honor meaning what? To have reverence for a person because of that person's experience. Based on what? Especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. All right? Spiritual resume. What does labor mean? According to the Greek, Strong's G 2872, Kapiao, Kapiao. And according to Strong's definitions, to work hard, you can't get around it, right? And Double means what? Twice as much. Look it up in the Greek. Okay, so 1 Timothy 5 and 17, let the elders that rule will be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. All right, so we all have spiritual resumes. Okay, if we are prophets. All right. Now, Let's get an account. Acts 15 and 1. And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about the question or about this question. Footnote. Now, if you can receive this in the spirit, Paul had more wisdom. Why? Because Yahweh Shah taught Paul directly for three years. So by default, okay, if you can receive this in the spirit, Paul had the most wisdom, the most spiritual wisdom. However, let's read to again. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about this question for order's sake. Again, for order's sake. First Corinthians 14 and 40, let all things be done decently and in order. All right. Acts 15 and 3, and being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Phoenix and Samaria, declaring the con conversion of the Gentiles, Israelite foreigners, right? And they caused great joy unto all the brethren. And when they were come to Jerusalem, they were received of the church and of the apostles and elders, and they declared all things that the Mosai had done with them. But there rose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees, which believed, saying that it was needful to circumcise them and to 
and to command them to keep the law of Moses. And the apostles and elders came together for to consider of this matter. Now, again, Paul had the most wisdom because Yahweh worked directly with Paul in the spirit for three years. However, what did Paul do? He still reported back to Jerusalem for order's sake. All right? Order. See, your experience matters. Okay? And you can't tell me that a man that has been in the truth 30, 35 years, that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah is not dealing with them. It doesn't make sense. Spiritual resume. Resume to sum up. Sum up what? One's spiritual experience. Okay? In this truth. To sum up one's wisdom. Lord will you edify Shalom.